What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, MEG TV here, and it's it's been a long time. I know, I know that the most recent video we did was a month ago. It's the spicy gauntlet challenge. But apart from that, it's been since my last skit. Like I know I stream on at night and uh, I play Resident Evil like around one in the morning. And that's all. That was always a weekend thing. But the last time that I made a skit was Discovering Sasquatch Episode Three, and that was a year ago. A year ago. I'm looking at my channel right now, and man, that was a long, long time. And what's crazy is it, it wasn't just that I, I, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not consistent. I'm not that good with my videos. I wish, I wish I could do videos all the time. But you know, we got life going. But, man, we got hit with 2020. We got hit with the pandemic. And that's, that's, that's that was crazy. Me, I'm an introvert, so it, it's all good. I'll stay at home and play video games all the time. You know, I don't mind. I didn't mind the lockdown. But, man, so many people hated it. People wanted to go out. People wanted to party. People wanted to go socialize. People wanted to go to conventions. I missed my conventions. I go to Comic Palooza every year, or, or did, until this happened. Uh, and it was pretty nice not seeing traffic on the road, not seeing traffic in the freeway. And I miss it. I <laughs> I miss the no traffic. We don't got dumbass drivers. We don't got stupidity. We didn't have a lot of accidents. Man, it was nice. It was nice going home at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, rush hour, with no traffic in sight. Man, that was the coolest shit. But, you know, it's done and it's over. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, right now, I'm just trying out my new uh, uh, mic setup and... Trying, just trying something new. I've always wanted to do Emmy talks or like a story time. You know, no, it's not uh, a little bit. You know, to take take time away from the skits. I love the skits. I'm always going to do skits, and I love the skits. I love them. It's just sometimes I just don't have any ideas. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Sometimes my friends are not available. It's not that I don't want to do it. It's just I wish I could and the circumstances were right to make it, you know? And I mm, if I had an, if I had all the time in the world, I'd make YouTube videos, YouTube content, and I it, it start it, this is all it's not to get famous. It's it's not to get cloud. It's none of that. I strictly made my YouTube channel for myself and for my friends just to have fun and uh, seeing and people that come along that discover my channel and enjoy it you know that's awesome you know that's cool like the craziest thing was when I got a message I got a message on my uh, I, it's my Facebook account for MEG TV I actually got a message. Let me see if I can find it. I got a message from a fan. And this is someone that I didn't really know. And I'm just like, this is cool. You know, it's like, whoa. Someone hit me up telling me how much they loved my content. Ugh, freaking hurt. Like, how much they loved my content. And, um,. They love, they love that I made their day better, made their day, made their week, and on their darkest hours and their toughest times, I was there for them to cheer them up with my content. Yeah, that felt awesome, man. I, I felt good about it. I was like, oh, damn. I never thought I would get a message like that. And man, I, I mean, my views have dropped 
bad, but you know, I'm still glad that my my friends and some day one fans still watch. I'm grateful for that. Uh, but you know what? Let's get into some topics. Let's talk about what's been going on outside in the world. Man, Texas's new law. Did y'all hear about that? Of course y'all did. We're in Texas. We can now open carry without a permit. We can have a gun without a permit. That's so crazy. That's why I got this bad boy right here. Uh, uh, yeah, I pull out the glizzy just in case someone wants to act up in the street, you know? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. But it's crazy. It's like, I thought about it. I thought it was a bad idea. Um, But then I think about look at detroit detroit is one of those places that has a, a gun ban like, you know no gun people can't have a gun or whatever and it's one of those places that has the most crime in it the most crime and, and yet they're not supposed to have any guns so we're gonna see what's gonna happen we're gonna see what's going to happen uh is it a good idea is it a bad idea i don't know only time will tell. So that's 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 crazy. Uh, the second thing that happened, um, Joe Biden. Joe Biden wants everyone that's employed in a company that has more than a hundred employees to get vaccinated. Mandatory vaccinations. Is that a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Um. I don't know. I I I am on the fence about it. I'm I'm not sure because Yeah, okay, we don't want another shutdown. We don't want another we don't want another epidemic. Or I mean epidemic. Uh, another pandemic. We don't we don't want to go through what we went through again. But they're pushing the vaccine so hard. It's like get the vaccine and you'll get $100. Or get the vaccine and you get a shot at a million dollars. Which, that's a pretty cool incentive. Uh, there's some other dumbass incentives out there. It's like uh, that one mayor. I'm trying to remember that one mayor that was like, mm. he's eating a burger. He's enjoying some fries. And he's just like, when you think of vaccine, just think of this. And he takes a big bite of his burger. And he's like, mm, this could be you. Did you say... Free fries when you get vaccinated? Um, I got vaccinated. You're saying I could get this? You delicious fries? Wait a minute. But there's also a, a burger element to this? Let me, let me check with Bill Needhart. Is it too early in the day to eat a burger? Right, no. This could be breakfast? Okay. I want you to look at this and think about, again, some people love hamburgers, some don't. Really want to respect all ways of life. But if this is appealing to you, just think of this when you think of vaccination. Mmm. Vaccination. Mmm. <laughs> man, shut the fuck up. Shut the hell up. Uh, I could go to McDonald's right now, eat me a fucking McDouble with the, with the, with the little small fries, the deal, the three, the. The three dollar deal with a three dollar bundle, man. I don't need no vaccine to enjoy a burger. God damn that. But now that sounds one. The the dumbest one I thought was uh one one of the mayors. I I gotta find these places because I was having a hard time finding them. It, it, I forgot what city or what state the mayor is like. Um. You get the vaccine, you have a chance to win a $40 gas powered barbecue grill. God damn, man, think of that. You get the vaccine, you get a rack of ribs, you get to cook some fajitas, you get to cook some chicken. 
So brisket, I don't know what else you do on the grill. Uh 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 steak smoked sausage. Damn man, he really went all out. Uh, there was some that were pretty cool. Uh, there were some of the incentives that were. Uh, one of the mayors was like, "Get the vaccine and you'll have a chance to win four of our custom, custom hunting rifles and four custom hunting shotguns and a chance to win an F Ford One Fifty or a Ford F One Fifty." God damn that ooh man just imagine that yeah I got the vaccine and you rolling down the street in an F-150. I'm not a Ford guy, I don't like Ford, but I mean I guess that's cool. Yeah, I won this F-150 with my custom my custom shotgun. I'm about to go hunt. Oh, there was one incentive that was really cool. It was a fishing permit. A fishing permit. And free fishing permits for life or lifetime and hunting permits. That's cool. Those are pretty cool. I know a lot of people that love fishing. So those are Yeah, those are pretty cool. Those are pretty good. But you know, now it's no more incentives. Now you need to get the you now you need the the, 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 the vaccine. It's either that or you get COVID testing twice a month. And I mean, sure, why not? Let's go do the back the, the COVID test twice, you know? I, I'm just against it because we got the Delta variant out here. And apparently the vaccine still doesn't fully protect you from whatever else is out there. You can still spread it, even if you're vaccinated. Uh, I know people that got COVID even after getting two vaccinations. So, I don't know. I don't know. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? I don't know. Only time will tell. Just don't get fired. You know, it's don't lose your job. Everybody has livelihoods. Everybody has families. Everybody needs their money. All right. Yeah, let's go into the next topic. Oh, man. So, y'all remember the video that I made with the televangelists? Uh, I forgot what. Televangelists are con artists, I think. I can't remember what was it called. Let me see. Let me see. Let me go back to my channel. Yeah, televangelists are con artists. So now I was I'm, I was I was working on part two, but now there's something. Ah, damn it! I bumped into the mic. There's something new that's going on and it really bothered me it was christians against video games and at first i'm just like oh no here we go they're gonna hit us with the video games cause violence and just the typical shit we hear all the time about video games and it wasn't i was surprised it really wasn't it was more about it was this pastor, you know, preaching, doing doing his thing up on the altar. And then he's like, I'm sick and tired of people playing video games for hours. I'm sick and tired of people not doing anything. And I'm just like, okay, buddy, calm the fuck down. All right, chill out. It's like, and, but he's pissed. He's fucking angry. He's yelling. He's turning red. Let me see if I could pull up the clip. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's pull up the clip. Fill me up with your spirit so I can edify your people. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you're in Titus chapter 2. I want to read 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. It says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every, every thought to the obedience of Christ. And the title of my sermon today is <clears throat> Casting Down the Controller. Casting Down the Controller. Three reasons why God hates video games. 
All right, you're in Titus chapter 2. You say, Brother Sean, why are you preaching about video games? Because this is an epidemic in the new IFB. Young men playing video games all day long for hours. I see it every single week, and it sickens me. Okay? And you're saying, well, that's for kids, right? That's for like 12 and 13-year-olds. The average age of video game players in the United States this year was 36 years old. Six and a half hours a day. That's a shame. We should never play these things, and I'm going to show you why God hates them. You're in Ch Titus chapter 2, verse 6. Let's look at some things that young men should be doing. And you say, Brother Sean, you're mad about this. You're right I'm mad about this because this is a vain waste of time. All right? First thing, it profits nothing. It is vain. It doesn't mean anything. You are playing thumb wars with a piece of plastic looking at a bunch of lights on a blinking screen. It means nothing. You understand? Okay. It's like, bro, calm down. Who hurt you? Like, really, dude? I think what happened is he was playing some cow. He was playing some Call of Duty. He was playing with the deacons. He was playing with the reverends. He was playing with the with the with the, 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 the I don't know what else they got in church. Other people in the community, they're playing together. And then someone wiped his clan, someone beat his team, just just bodied them in Call of Duty. So that he took a big fat L. And then I'm pretty sure a gamer fucked his wife or some shit because he clearly has some pure hate for gamers and for people that play games calm down bro it's okay what are you doing jesus but yeah that's funny uh there's another one there's another one there's another guy he's also uh i think he's a pastor as well he's also talking what's bad about video games and oh yeah and the first guy he talks about super mario and high scores we don't play that shit we don't we're not out here playing super mario on the game boy or anything we're playing call of duty we're playing battlefield people are playing fortnite i'm not playing fortnite people are playing uh what else is hot apex amogus no um it's like okay bro you sounded like a you sound like a boomer that's for damn sure but i don't know it was funny uh next topic next topic oh man we're gonna get we're gonna get into some crazy stories i'll probably do a separate video about that but you know what let's do that right now so one of the craziest things that's happened to me at work was the one time that i worked at wingstop and uh, da, 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 what happened what happened okay 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 i used to work for a wingstop and back like in my high school years and i i i was a cook i was a cook for the night shift it was like 11 45 or 11 50 so somewhere around that time and it usually around 11 50 we we start like turning off the the the, the deep fryers we put away the, the 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 bowls clean up our workstations it's closing time it's closing time uh, at this time, I think it was it was probably the weekend. We're we're closing up, man. We're ready getting go. I'm like I'm ready. I want to go home. I'm tired. It, it, we we had a busy day, and um, it's like 11 50 something. My manager is like closing up the registers. She's counting the money. She's ready to go to. And then we hear the door go off. We hear the door. And I was like, oh, are you fucking serious? I looked at the, I looked at my manager uh, and I was just like, I swear to God, I swear to God, you better tell them it's fucking closed or I'm beating the shit out of somebody. I gave her that look. 
And then she's she gives me that look too, like, I can't. Technically, it's not closed yet. I was like, God damn it, what do you mean? And uh after that, uh she she just she had to serve them. She had to serve them. And she tells them she tells them that that yes, we're still open. It's two dudes and two big black dudes and a girl. And, and and I know around this time they're high, they're hungry. They were very high. They came in just like big red shot eyes, slurring their words. They're either drunk or they're high. One of those two. So she's like, well, might as well just serve them. After that, we lock the doors. I'm like, oh, no shit. By the time we're done, it is time to close. Uh, so she goes in. She tells them, all right, uh, it, it, it has to be like a small order because we're already shutting down. They're like, they're like, all right, that's cool. That's cool. And, and, um, she, you know, she asks them, okay, what can I get you? First thing, first thing I hear is, oh yeah, let me get, uh, uh, what does that say right there? Uh, hey man, what you want? And I'm like, oh my God, really? And like, oh, hurry the fuck up, dude. <laughs> It's about to be 12, like, in a few minutes. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. And, and then she asks him again. Uh, y'all know what I'm getting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get, um. Oh. Uh, damn, man. I don't know. Hey, uh, hey, what do you want? And he tells the other guys, like, I'm still looking. I'm just like, oh, man. I'm face palming hard. I'm like, hurry up, man go home and they finally figure out what they want oh uh, yeah and I, I right before they fucking said it i knew what they were gonna say i knew they wanted fucking lemon pepper wings i know i know they wanted lemon pepper wings. and i'm like it took you that fucking long just to figure out you want lemon pepper wings but i uh, um, you know what you know what maybe they want something else let's hear them out so I'm there, I'm listening, and I hear, yeah, you know what? Let me get a, let me get a 10 piece lemon pepper wing. So I was like, I fucking knew it. <laughs> and his friend's like, yeah, 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 you know what? Let me do that too. Let me get a 10 piece lemon pepper wing. So I was like, oh, gee, who would have, who would have guessed? Because lemon pepper was one of the best selling items we have. Like the best sellers we at Wingstop were lemon pepper wings, hot lemon, hot buffalo lemon pepper wings, or uh, garlic parmesan. Like those were the best sellers besides just the regular hot wings. Or yeah, barbecue kinda. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You know what? Bam, bam, bam. Let's drop all these wings. I go, I grab, I grab twenty wings, throw them in the, throw them in a the deep fryer, right? And then. Uh, the two guys wanted something different besides the wings. Instead of just wings and fries, they were like, you know what? Let me get some wings. Let me get the wings. Let me get the fries. And I want two rolls. The first guy wants two rolls. All right, cool. No problem. And then the, the second guy's like, you know what? I'm going to get one more. Let me get three rolls. Okay, all right. The, the, the second one, the second guy wants three rolls. All right, cool, cool, cool. Nothing to it, nothing to it. Bam! I drop the wings. Bam! I drop the fries. I get the I get the last uh, rolls we got in the back ready to go. Put them, get them ready, butter them up. The wings are done. I get everything quickly. I quickly sauce them up, throw in the lemon pepper. All right, put them in the boxes. But I kind of messed up. I didn't I didn't know which one of the guys wanted the two rolls and which one wanted the three. So I just hand him whoever I think, you know, is the right guy. First guy, here you go, here's your order. Second guy, here, here you go, here's your order. Alright. So I'm like, yes, let's go. Let's fucking get out of here. Turn everything off. Turn the stove, uh the, the, the fryers off again. Quickly rinse the bowls. I'm like, that's it. 
then from the distance, I hear, Hey man, what the fuck? I was like, oh no, what now? What now? And it's like, hey man, I only got two rolls. And I was like, fuck, wait, what? And he's like, hey man, I only got two rolls, man. Hey man, I want, I, I want my other roll. And then the, his friend, he's like, oh shit, man, I got three rolls. Yeah, I got three rolls. And and they're looking at each other, and and I'm just like, okay, they're clearly they're just gonna swap orders good to go and they're gonna leave right wrong no so they're fucking high or they're drunk or whatever they start arguing they start cussing each other out hey motherfucker hey motherfucker give my fucking shit back and i'm just like oh my god really there and then the other guy's like nah man he gave he gave me this order so i have three rolls other dude's like, nah, man, that's my roll. You know I ordered three. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, oh, my God. And they're, they're, they're yelling. They're fucking yelling, cussing each other out. The girl's just, the girl's trying to calm them down, the girl they came in with. My manager's freaking out. And, and, she, and I'm like, Kim, tell them to get the fuck out of here. I was like, tell them to go. Like, tell them to go fight outside. And, and I mean, she didn't. She kind of froze because it, it, the, the situation was scary. And I'm just, I'm just seeing them go off. And they put the wings down, and they start pulling up their pants. And I was like, oh shit, they're about to th- start throwing hands. Damn, they're really gonna fight. Right, right when I gotta go home, they're about to fight. And that's when I stepped in. I'm like, Kim, if you don't say something, I'm going to say something. And uh, after that, she, I think she, uh, I think the manager tried telling them something, but they clearly didn't listen to her or they ignored her. And now they're like, I think one of them shoved the other one, but nothing happened. But they shoved each other. I was like, oh, my God. So I walked up there and I'm just like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all, y'all motherfuckers gotta go. Y'all gonna do that? Y'all gonna fight? Y'all step outside? Y'all fight out there? Not in here. We closed. And, and surprisingly, they did hear me. And they left. They went outside. Just like I said. And they started talking more shit. And they started fighting outside. And, and, <laughs> and my man just like, should we call the cops? I was like, nah. Let them, let them figure that shit out. That's not our problem. It's like as long as they're outside, I don't give a fuck. It's time to go. We turned off all the lights, closed everything. We left through the back. We didn't leave through the front. We left through the back of the store, and I can still hear them talking shit in the front. I don't know if if they started brawling or not, but that shit was funny. I'm just like, okay, all right. We always had some crazy people come in at night in the last second and start some bullshit up oh man those were the days when i worked at wing stop those were the days i got i got so many stories from wing stop like the time when i got tased uh it's not a really big story just uh it was probably like nine o'clock ten o'clock uh little little short hispanic dude came in bought his wings like nothing and and then after right right before he was leaving he's like hey i sell flashlights and tasers are y'all interested and everyone's like what like yeah yeah let me go get them he goes to his car he comes back with a briefcase he opens it up full of tasers and and like you know the manager and some of the other employees are like "Oh, oh they're gathering up checking out all the stuff one of the girls actually, one of the other employees, she actually buys a taser from me. Turns it on and, you know, it actually goes off. And she was like, man, I want to use this. And, and, and then I, I just hear my name. Emmy, you want to you wanna get tased? And they started laughing. And they, were, they were just playing. I was like, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Let's let's see. I want to get tased. And they're like, you're for real? I'm like, yeah, I'm for real. 
Let's try this. I've never been tased. I, I, I want to see how it feels. And it's actually on YouTube. I'm actually, I'm going to post the video. I'm going to put the video up. Hurry up! Hurry up! Wait, hold on. Which one is it? Oh my god, just do it. Please do it. Oh, Alright, I got it. Come on, do it! Yes, it's inside. Oh, come on, man. Oh, my god. Come on! Okay. I got, we got, Amelia, are you sure? Yeah, sir. Come on. <laughs> Come on, do it, man. Why are you being serious? Are you going to buy me? Nah, I'm going to. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Are you crazy? She's not doing it, bro. How do you like them? She's not going to do it. Wrap it up. 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 She's about to tase me. It's a pink taser. So I'm, 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 you know, I'm right there. I'm getting ready. And I'm like, okay, go, go, go. But she's scared. She's obviously scared. She's going to hurt me or whatever. I'm going to get hurt regardless. So she grabs the taser, like quickly puts it on me and then pulls back. It shocked me a little bit. I felt like a little sting. And I was like, nah, 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 that's not good enough. You know, go in. And just go for it. And she does, like she sticks it on the side of my ribs, tases me, and it actually drops me to my knees. And I was just like, ah, it, it, it hurts. It, getting tased feels like, like someone just pinched your skin and twisted it as hard as they could with some long ass nails and, and, and is yanking on your skin and it, it just throbbing. But, you know, it was crazy experience. But, yeah, that's it for this segment. Uh, I hope y'all like it. We're going to try something new. Thanks for watching. This is Emmy Talks. We'll see you next time.